hello friends and hello student my name is ashok sijal and this session we learn the structure in c language and copy individual member and entire structure in c language so let us start first i share my laptop screen and here fix the position so you can watch better way my video lecture and here turbo c++ is there i double click and take some process and now yes is the open so yes alter f file menu open and taking new file and here write a program to print employee information using structure and here we can see the there are two technique copy the member of structure so that is a variable of structure that is known as a member of structure so there are two technique first is uh, individual so that is a indi yes uh, individual uh, we can say that the member uh, copy yes and then second technique entire entire structure can copy or entire uh, variable we can say that entire structure variable copy so one structure variable copy to other structure variable so let us start and here our uh, first or link section so yes so, so std io dot h and and ponyo dot h yes console input output and and our structure uh, structure stock is keyword in emp yes and here we can define the like uh, integer that first employee id then basic salary and then character name and 20 character we have to define so only three member here our goal is a how to individual member is copy and enter structure uh, variable how to copy this so here variable yes now perfect so spelling is not correct but now is correct so let us start so here first main and there are three way if you not watch my previous video lecture in youtube so first watch there are three techniques you can declare the structure variable like before the semicolon here like here i give the e1 so employee one and here you can also define global declaration section and inside the main function so that is a local of the opening pressing of main and close that is a span or life cycle of that structure variable so here is a best technique so just here we can define e1 and first we can scan and print one structure variable so yes here first clear the screen directly and then we can uh, print the message you can also give the static value but here in my previous video i already covered the static value so here we can take value from user so enter employee id yes. and then scan a function we have to use so first one employee we have to print information so how to scan also here we can see so id yes and now here i copy and paste yes so so here we can uh, scan the uh, employee name and here we cannot use scanf that is a limitation so we can get as yes so here e1.name yes and then here we can uh, print and scan the basic uh, salary just yes, employee salary and that is a bs that is a integer so now yes sir, that get ch that scan and now we can print also but i first save this file so we can say that copies and then structure stru but uh, maximum eight characters so i remove the uh, underscore and dot c so eight character copy struct 
structure or we can say that member of structure so that structure yes okay so yes copy structure means entire structure or individual member we can copy so yes first i print yes now let us print and we can paint in vertical format so id and name and then basic salary so that is a heading and slash and and then we have to print one structure so personal data one employee of means uh, structure that uh, and then e1 dot id yes e1 yes now e1 dot id then com operator e1 dot name yes percentage s and then e1 dot bs basic salary okay and here now let us check first i compile yes uh, there is no error and our exe file copy struct structure is generated and let us say scan so id like 101 yes sir here a scan get s is not work so yes let us check that is a creating problem so our name is not scanned directly salary is scanned so what is the solution our id and name um, is, uh, name is not scanned so no print directly id and basic salary is print so sometimes that buffer is overflow so here we can use the f flush functions clear the buffer and std in input that time error so we can clear the buffer and before the get s you can use the flush function so let us check now perfectly work for yes sir. so just what is that flush okay so here that's spelling yes now i f f l u s h yes first u and then yes now correct so yes now no any error let us check perfectly work yes now there is no that uh, our name is perfectly scan and all are perfectly print okay so now we can copy first technique is the individual member we have to copy one by one member so let us check so how it's copy so here uh, we can define second of uh, variable of structure so and here e2 and then copy one by one so e2 dot id equal to e1 dot id that is a member by member so e2 dot uh, name equal to e1 dot name but that is a string so you cannot copy directly this type because a string is a not data type in c and c plus plus language so what to do so here we can define once uh, use the string handling function so here string dot h header file. you can use the string copy function so here so yes str cpy string copy otherwise they're taking error so here equal to form operator and then parentheses so that is a our source string and that is a destination so here copy to here that name of employee and now last member because only three member we have to define because simplicity so easily you can understand so basic salary and then e1 dot basic salary yes. so that is a copy and let us check i print uh, this copy this line and pass to here and here we can change e1 to e2 so that is employee 2 information is print so every structure member is a separate memory allocation so here is a like id is at two bytes because that is integer basic salary is at two bytes so four and name is at 20 so 24 byte allocate for one em means one uh, structure variable and second also 24 bytes is allocates every member of uh, structure that is uh, allocate the memory is a separate location yes so so we can use there is no any error and let us check so yes one zero one and same value and u for simplicity yes that slash n is required there are copies perfectly so we can provide the slash n in second record yes that is a record and logical related item or group of that is a structure member logical your id name if you take the student data student roll number name and then percentage directly or two subject mark and total percentage grade all you to find the student mark sheet also also in structure using structure yes and float data type is not supported by structure 
but uh, we can link some function use so that also use but uh, we can linking the float data type in structure so we can see in my next upcoming video lecture so here our focus how to individual member copy and now we can see the second that is first technique we can use now second technique entire structure variable copy so one structure variable copy to other and this time we cannot declare to here your global declaration section so structure yes, struct is keyword and e3 yes and here we can directly copy yes uh, so call r3 same e3 equal to e2 just uh, that copy directly that is a possibility like our uh, simple like we can uh, integer variable like x and y is there so x equal to y so that is a x uh, value assigned to y value so that is a possible so that is a user defined data type that is also a possibility so user defined data type is a uh, inbuilt data type that works same so now yes uh, let us copy this line and let us print so that work or not so yes so uh, we can print the e3 id that all are three same one employee two employee because uh, uh, that is a one is copy to two is a individual member here is a individual member copy and here is a entire uh, we can say that structure copy means uh, one structure variable assigned to other so that is our copy means uh, that e2 is a copy all member to e3 directly so let us check our perfect or not yes sir. so <clears throat> here e3 yes sir. Okay, here give the name EMP then and then so only that remaining so that is a tag name so just yes, also you can use type def keyword is that possibility so yes uh, here I use type def keyword but uh, type def keyword give how so there are two techniques so type uh, def def yes and here we can use the N EMP yes and now that uh, may I take like our like your x that variable we have to define same way like an emp that is new object of uh, structure means new uh, data type type def is a not creating new data type but giving the existing data type new name so an emp is a new norm of structure uh, the tag name that also known as a tag name and we can now here define like in previously I take like e3 yes so that is now no any error just let us check yes no error and let us print so one zero one and same giving the value from and one thousand so all yes that same all are three so look that perfectly work so there are type def keyword and also you can create like here now that possibility you can also in declare the n emp that is our new and e4 yes we can copy now next and that is a we can again copy here so i e4 just assign to e3 so that is also same let us check because we have to copy and paste means that type of meaning of it so like here i print f statement copy and paste so that is also copy and paste so that perfectly work let us check so we copy three times so first is a e1 copy e2 that is a individual member copy that is a first technique and second technique entire structure variable copy to one to other uh, structure variable and here we can same technique entire structure but we can declare that variable inside the uh, means our uh, main function so that scope is a uh, within the main uh, that is here to here that e4 is a uh, destroy but here e1 and e2 and e3 is a global entire that program is accessible so yes let us check so that work also so there are three places you can declare the structure variable for the semicolon and global declaration section here we can also use type def keyword and here inside the main so i also cover the how many uh, way you can declare the structure variable in c language so yes now that perfectly yes so so let us check i run again yes compile no in error and i give the same value you can also give same like here i give the krishna yes and then nine thousand or any salary so yes uh, all four records yes uh, some spelling just yes, krishna so yes that spelling by mistake i type so 
English. Na, yes, now correct. Yes, at first is ID, so I, the name, yes, that also was mistake. So here I give the again Krishna, that is two times, yes, that all are zero. The percentage D, so yes, that is a, I by mistake give. Okay, so Krishna and 9000, now perfectly, yes, all are. So that is perfectly print, yes, look. So all four record we have to print is a perfectly. So that is a, uh, here technique two we have to cover so that is my goal only how to copy individual member and entire structure you have to copy so i use entire structure is the best technique for so use two times so here e2 copy all member e3 and e3 copy e4 so that is a, all are same so four record is the same okay so that is all about how to copy one a structure variable to other that is uh, there are two techniques i think very easy individual member you have to copy and entire structure variable you have to copy so like we have to pass in udf structure that is also a possibility individual member you have to pass and also entire structure you have to pass like array so array and structure is a very different array is a collection of similar data type but structure is a uh, logical related different data type of collection of member and structure is a not use any keyword here struct is keyword so struct is structure is a struct is keyword used to declare the structure variable and array is a uh, we can say that uh, derived data type structure is a user defined data type so i cover also what is a different between structure and array yes so and then you can also define one example so array use the index and structure not require any index and then we can say that uh, that syntax also different here we can that uh, that type of syntax means uh, struct keyword then tag name or we can say that structure name and opening brace closing brace and in, that is a member one one or n means data type and different data type collection and array is a similar data type like uh, data type any and then array name and subscript that we use so here we can already inside the one uh, structure uh, array is used inside the structure okay so that is uh, all about structure and then uh, that is a uh, array is a derived data type and structure is a user defined data type yes that very important difference so okay so all about uh, structure and then how to copy one member to member to member individual and entire structure you have to copy so yes i close this session so write this program to your c notebooks if you prepare so here very simple way i can explore all the very easy way you can understand so now i close this uh, file alter f3 function key and quit so just subscribe my channel Ashok Sija like a day and press the bell icon to never miss any update. Thanks for your watching, supporting and sharing my video lecture and Hare Krishna.